Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Let's start Married at First Sight. Um, it's time to have some new shows on this channel. I've tried with Real Housewives of Potomac twice. I will not be doing that show again on my channel. I am really sorry to tell you. Hopefully you guys enjoy this show the way, as much as I do. So Austin is 31 years old. He is a sales professional from Colorado. He literally was born and raised in Colorado. And he's your typical outdoorsy, adventurous type. So Austin is looking for a partner that can match his social vibe while keeping life in check. He needs someone who knows when to chill and knows when to hustle. A social butterfly with great energy and conversational skills. Austin's key traits, he loves the outdoors and all of the adventures that comes with it. He's social. He values relationships. He values family. And Austin wants a partner that can bring order and structure into his life. Rebecca is 31 as well. She's the same age as Austin. This is his fiance. And uh, she's a professional wedding photographer with a quirky personality. Life, according to Becca, is too short to be totally normal. And I feel the same way. Becca faces health challenges with an autoimmune disorder. It has affected her spine since she was 19. A recent extensive abdominal surgery led to an endometriosis diagnosis causing chronic pain. She says sometimes she feels like a burden. Now what Becca's looking for, she's seeking emotional intelligence. She wants someone who knows what he wants. Being emotionally available is necessary. She appreciates sensitivity in a man and empathy. And she prefers someone who doesn't take life too seriously. Becca also wants someone who doesn't make her feel like she's a burden. Brennan is 28 years old. He's a software consultant. He's originally from New York. His childhood was marked by his parents' interesting marriage. By interesting, I mean toxic. They were always fighting. And the reason why they fought a lot was because of communication issues. So, of course, Brennan wants to have so much communication in his marriage so that it can be successful. He says that his view of relationships was a bit marred because of his parents relationship but he still sees them as a source of inspiration because even though they were toxic they persevered so brennan has somewhat of traditional values but he does want a woman that has a career that values balance and confidence in their partnership and this is brennan's bride to be and her name is emily emily is an account executive for a tech company she is 29 years old she had a great childhood and her parents are actually celebrating 30 years of marriage and they are her inspiration for a future happy marriage emily is lively ambitious party girl she is the life of the party she says about herself she acknowledges her high energy and seeks someone who can help her tone it down despite her focus on her career in her 20s she's never had a serious relationship and you guys chose her to um, get married um i'm just wondering why'd you do that emily is desiring a partner with a scruffy rugged type of parent someone with a great sense of humor who also values engaging conversations. Next groom, his name is Cameron. He's originally from New Zealand, residing of course in Denver now. He is 32 years old, he owns a bike shop, and uh, this guy is pretty adventurous, good grief. Cameron says that his childhood was marked by fear. You know, he was a very fearful child, but he consciously worked to overcome his fears. He's into mountaineering and mountain biking. His parents divorced when he was 13 and that forced him to mature quickly. Living with his traveling salesman father meant that he had a lot of time alone. Now in Denver, far from friends and family, he aspires to build his own family with his new wife. And what he envisions is a family with kids. He desires a partner who shares his adventurous spirit, preferably someone slender and someone who's into fitness. Here is Cameron's bride-to-be. She's so pretty. This is Claire. She's 27 years old and she is a therapist. She grew up as one of four. She is a quadruplet and she always felt like she was one-fourth of a person. Unfortunately, her brother passed away due to taking his own life. His loss fuels her passion for mental health, motivating her to make a difference in other people's lives. Claire's personal loss transformed her perspective on therapy. Claire finds joy in helping others. Despite the tragedy in her family, Claire remains passionate about mental health and feels a deep responsibility to make a positive impact. 
She seeks an equal partnership, steering away from traditional gender roles, and she desires someone family-oriented with a sense of humor and emotional intelligence. Next, we're going to start with the bride first, just because I feel like it. Sorry, because I got confused. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, this lovely creature here, her name is Lauren. She's 30 years old. She's a federal budget officer. And she was raised in a unique environment. She attended an all-black private school, celebrated Kwanzaa, embracing her cultural identity. And as a queer individual, she specifies herself as queer. Lauren is open about her sexuality and values, her independence and strength. Despite being attracted to both men and women, she identifies as monogamous. The recent loss of her mother has emphasized the importance of being with a strong man who makes her feel safe. That's what her mom always wanted for her. And Lauren values her black identity immensely and seeks a partner who understands and respects her cultural background. She is comfortable with a man who has also explored his sexuality. And while her pride in being black is significant, she's open to marrying outside her race. Can you imagine? I'm just saying, can you imagine? They found a woman that was very much black power and said, how about we match you up with somebody outside your race? I don't have a problem with it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with interracial dating. I'm just saying, do you see the irony here? Okay, I'm just saying. Style is also important to Lauren. She wants her man to have style, okay? And she wants a man that can make her feel emotionally secure. And here we have, here we have Lauren's groom and his name is Orion. He's 27 years old. So he's an electrician and his background is indigenous, AKA Native American. And he is a member of two different tribes. One was Navajo, I believe the other was Apache, but you know, those aren't the exact names they, they had, but you know, they had names for them. Orion is an extroverted individual with a deep connection to his indigenous roots. He values cultural understanding and seeks a partner who's willing to learn about and embrace his heritage. Despite exploring different aspects of his identity, he identifies more with his masculine side. And Orion is drawn to dark complected women hey anyway he desires a wife with an extroverted personality who is enthusiastic about learning and embracing his culture while he has explored different aspects of his identity he recognizes his preference for a heterosexual relationship and last but not least we have michael and he's 38 years old. He's a senior project manager in the tech industry. Michael has learned the value of embracing himself while facing the challenges of losing his father at a young age. He admired his parents' loyalty and his father's adoration for his mother. Now at his age, he's ready to marry. He feels like he's the most confident he's ever been. Michael is not the typical archetype in Denver, he says and he's thriving in his position at work. He's also passionate about fashion and enjoys exploring various interests. Michael is attracted to darker features. You mean darker skin? No, he doesn't. He just means dark hair, dark eyes. <laughs> um, he wants the woman to have a nice complexion, he desires a woman with a strong commitment to health and a high level of confidence. Someone who shares his desire for children and is open-minded and ready to grow together. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed Meet the Brides and Grooms, and I uh, will be caught up hopefully soon. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.